Okay. So, what we've got here is a little pause. So we, we can see there that we are definitely getting onto the, the charge controller. We've got the battery voltage. I've got the uh, solar panel turned off. Battery is allowed to be on. And it goes down to this box. So as you can see, we've got 13.1. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how to reset the BMS if it ever uh, activates and stops your flow of current from the negative of the battery because that's what it's in. Right, so we've got the positive here. Yes, going down to an inverter here. This is a positive going up to here, which is it's uh, what's well, going up to this switch here, which is that. That's the positive there going up to the charge controller, right? Then we've got the negative going up to the charge controller. I've got it going through a DC fuse, and then it comes to the DC fuse. So you just forget that's there, and it comes out of the DC fuse and goes into the the BMS, the Dali BMS, which is just a switch, a semiconductor switch. It comes out and comes out on this blue wire. So you can see it's coming from out. Really, it's, you, you could say it's coming, but it's actually, um, it's going. But anyway, so this wire is coming from here, going through the fuse, coming out. Now, this black wire here is just going down to the inverter, right? And then we've got this black, which goes into the, the Dali BMS, then out of the Dali BMS, onto the battery, negative, right? So it's coming from the DAT battery negative, through the BMS, out of the BMS, and then it feeds the inverter, and it feeds this fuse, which then feeds all this. So you can understand that if the BMS opens the switch, nothing's gonna work. Now, this happens if one of these batteries is either lower than a set point or higher than a set point right now what we'll do is we'll simulate what can happen right you can see the volts right if we just pull out this plug right there right this inside would have just activated and stopped the circuit as you can see the volts have gone so there is no power going up here to there, this one, to there, and into the battery, right? So, the problem we've got now is, how do we put it back on again? So we put, we put the, the, the little plug, which is a little bit fiddly. We just, uh, bear with. Bang. We've got the, the plug back in. Right, so you go, okay then. It should, it should be back on now. So we look up here? No, right. There is no reset button on the BMS, right? Everything's intact. How are we gonna get this to go up? Now, all the cells, I can promise you, are 3.3, 3, something like that. One, two, three, right? We've got all the voltages there, everything's okay. You saw that before. Now, this is what you need to do. You need to install a jumper cable, right? And it needs to go from you could put a switch in there if you wanted to. You could come from the negative, right? You could go through a switch, like a battery uh, battery fuse switch like that. And then you need, you could go back onto here, right? Because this is where it goes out, because it goes from there into the Dali BMS, comes out on this wire and goes up and feeds everything. But that's dead because the switch in there is open. So then what you do, you just get your thing. Make sure you've got no load on, everything's switched off, and you just touch it down. Like that. Now that has just closed. You look up here and we're back on. And that's how you do it. Everyone needs one of these, right? A jumper. So you can just put it on like that. And obviously it didn't spark then because it's closed. And there you go. Also, um, you could also use that jumper. If you have a BMS like this, which is 30 amp to 30 amp BMS, you know, even though these are 100 amp, I'm not paying for a, a big BMS. If you're ever using like a big drill, pump, something like that, which you know is going to exceed the rate of that and it's going to annoyingly open, what you could do is just completely bypass it. If you know you've got a full set of batteries and you're not going to have a big problem, you know what I mean? That would help you out, you know what I mean? There we go. I hope uh, that helps you.